In today's episode, you will learn how to make an automatic street lights control system using only a PIR sensor. PIR sensor is one of the most commonly used sensors for motion detection. You can also use a laser based car detection system, but I'll be using a PIR sensor. This is the second part of the car parking system. The first part was based on the car parking slots monitoring system using infrared sensors and a computer application designed in VB.net. The link is given in the description if you want to watch this tutorial. Few months back I uploaded two tutorials on PIR sensor. In first tutorial, I covered all the basics including the pinouts, the purpose of the variable resistors and how to use a PIR sensor with Arduino. While in the second part, I used this PIR sensor with GSM 7900A module and designed a security system. The links are given in the description if in case you want to watch these tutorials. In this episode, we are not using Arduino or any other microcontroller. We will only be using a PIR sensor to control the street lights. This tutorial covers number one, making, number two, circuit explanation, number three, interfacing, and finally, number four, testing. Let's get started. The components that we will need for this project are number one, PIR sensor, number two, PPR 0.5 inch pipe. Number three, white color LEDs. Number four, jumper wires. Number five, female DC socket. Number six, 780 FIFA voltage regulator. First leg is the input, middle one is the ground, and the third one is the output. Number seven, LED. The longer leg is the inode, and the shorter one is the cathode. Number eight, 330 ohm resistor. Number nine, 12 volt SPDT type relay. Number 10, 2 and 2222 NPN transistor. The left leg is the emitter, the middle one is the base, and the rightmost leg is the collector. Number 11, 1 and 4007 diode. And finally, number 12, a 10K resistor. These components can be purchased from Amazon and AliExpress. The components purchase links are given in the description. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. This is the regulated 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This power supply will be used to power up the PIR sensor module. This is the DC female power jack. A 10 microfarad capacitor is connected at the input side of the 7805 voltage regulator. Another 10 microfarad capacitor is connected at the output side of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. I have a very detailed tutorial on LED and how to calculate the value of the current limiting resistor. The link is given in the description. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VCC pin of the PIR sensor module. And also make sure you connect the ground of the voltage regulator with the ground of the PIR sensor module. The output pin of the PIR sensor is connected with the base of the 2N2222 NPN transistor through a 10K resistor. The emitter of the 2N2222 NPN transistor is connected with the ground, while the collector side is connected with one side of the relay coil, and the relay coil other side is connected with the 12 volts. This is another 5 volt regulated power supply, exactly the same as explained. This 5 volts will be used to power up the white color LEDs. This 5 volts is given to the LEDs through this relay. 330 ohm resistors are connected with the inode sides of all the LEDs, while the cathode sides of all the LEDs are connected with the ground. When the PIR sensor detects any motion, the relay is turned on. 
so the common pin of the relay will be connected with the normally open pin which connects 5 volts with the inner side of the LEDs and so the LEDs will turn on. The relay driver circuit simply consists of the 2N2222 NPN transistor and a 10K resistor. If you want to learn the relay driver circuit design calculations then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description.
This is a one channel relay module and this is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on LM7805 voltage regulator and this is the PIR sensor module. The VCC of the PIR sensor is connected with the output of the 7805 voltage regulator. So 5 volts will be used to power up the PIR sensor. The out pin of the PIR sensor is connected with the base of 2N2222 NPN transistor through a 10K resistor while the ground of the PIR sensor is connected with the ground. All the grounds are connected together. This is a DC female socket and will connect a 12 volt adopter over here and as you can see these two wires are also connected over here. So I'm giving 12 volts to the relay module and also to the 7805 voltage regulator. So I'll be using a single 12 volt adopter. This is another 5 volt regulated power supply which will be used for the white color LEDs. All the connections are as per the circuit diagram which I explained in very detail. Now let's watch this project in action. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.